What's up everyone, Ollie here. So, I really like small form factor PCs. Ever since I saw the ZX1 by iQnix, I just knew I had to have one. It looked awesome and it had also won a Red Dot Design Award. So when it comes to what you get in the box, you get the case already pre-built, which is nice. You don't have to put it together yourself. You get a useful screwdriver kit to take the case apart and put it back together. But I stuck with my iFixit kit. I highly recommend one of these. You also get all of your connectors. You get a useful screw box with everything organized neatly. A PCIe riser cable. One thing to keep in mind though is that this is a Gen 3 cable, not a Gen 4. And finally, a 2.5 inch hard drive bracket. So the design. There are two versions of this case. One that's for air cooling and one for water cooling. The difference between the two is height. The water cooling version is taller so that you can put the radiator and fans in the top. The water cooled version is the one I have here. You can actually see how small it is compared to my previous build, which was the Striacom DA2. The Striacom DA2 was already a small case, so seeing it side by side with the ZX1, impressive. iQnix offer a bunch of different colors. I actually think all of the colors are really nice, but I naturally have the matte black case here. I wouldn't say it's actually jet black though. It has a little bit of a blue tinge to it. It might be hard to see on camera, but when I compare it to the Striacom DA2, I notice it. Maybe it's just the designer and me noticing it. It's made from aluminum, and I do have to say, the fit and finish is absolutely sublime. The only way I can describe it is that it feels like it's the same aluminum that you'd find in an Apple machine, which I think is high praise. As I said, it's even won a Red Dot Design Award, and the design is just really premium looking. The way all of the parts fit together and the tolerances are some of the best I've ever seen. The only bad thing about aluminum is that it can scratch and dent quite easily. I've already got a few scratches around the case just from moving it around and putting it together. On the top at the front of the case, you do get a bunch of useful ports, including two standard USB ports, one Type-C port, one headphone jack, and one microphone jack. I'll leave links to all of the parts that I put in this build in the description below, but my build consists of the Aorus B550i motherboard, Ryzen 5600X, Kraken X53 AIO cooler, a NVIDIA 2080 Super Founders Edition, and a Corsair SF600 power supply. I have actually been on the search for a 3080 Founders Edition, but obviously right now it's absolutely impossible to buy one. The inside layout is actually a sandwich layout where you have the motherboard and PCU on one side, and then you have the GPU on the other. You can then put a radiator and fans in the top. When it comes to what you can fit in here, you can fit a dual slot GPU up to 305 millimeters in length. And in the top, you can fit a 250 millimeter radiator and fans, which is what I have. I fit my 2080 Super Founders Edition, no problem, with quite a bit of room to breathe. Installation was very straightforward and iQnix do provide a very helpful manual to put it together. You first take off the top cover, which is held in by magnets, pretty strong magnets too, which is good. Then you can take off both the side panels, which are also held in with the same magnets. Once you're in, you take off the top bracket, then you take off the PSU mount and you're ready to put your parts in. Before putting the motherboard in, make sure to put in the backplate for the CPU cooler, otherwise you won't be able to get to it later on. I would also recommend installing your CPU, any M.2 drives and connecting any power cables. One minor issue that I did come across was that getting the mounting screw in the bottom right of the motherboard is quite difficult. It's not really possible unless you have a flexible screwdriver like this iFixit one. Next, you want to mount the PCIe riser cable. When mounting the AIO cooler, you have to remember to put the cooler itself through the top bracket before putting it back on. Otherwise, you'll hate yourself. Trust me, I've already made that mistake. <laughs> this is also when it's a good idea to attach any connectors to the top panel. Next up is attaching the PSU extension cable to the PSU, mounting it to the bracket, connecting the power cables, and then mounting the PSU to the case. Then finally, it's time to install the GPU and put the case back together. Everything is super tight. And to be honest, there is no cable management other than stuffing cables wherever you possibly can. But thankfully, you can hide the cables quite well. The AIO cooler in particular was a very tight fit as you have to hope the tubes that you get with your cooler are flexible enough. Thicker and more rigid tubes will pretty much be impossible in this case. Considering this is my second ever PC build and there were no major issues, I'd say this was a win. With it being such a small case, it is naturally going to run a little bit hotter compared to bigger and more roomier cases. At idle, the CPU was between 30 to 40 degrees Celsius and the GPU was around 30 degrees Celsius. In a Blender Cycles render test, I was getting around 59 degrees at 1700 RPM on the CPU with the Kraken X53 liquid cooler. 
in heaven 4.0 i was getting around 75 degrees at 2000 rpm on the gpu i'd say these were pretty respectable numbers and the case never really got too loud either so this is not a budget case at all it's actually quite a high-end premium case starting at 300 dollars for the air-cooled version and $360 for the water-cooled version. But if you want a premium case that uses incredible materials and has a great design like this one, that's just the sort of price you're going to have to pay. I've personally been very impressed with the performance for such a small case. It does of course get a little toasty compared to larger cases with more airflow, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make to have a small form factor PC. Aesthetics above everything, am I right? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.